Welcome to the Drum Lounge Podcast. Yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of the Drum Lounge Podcast. I am your ratatat tatness host. <laughs> Had to bring it back to the <laughs> right, 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 right. Got to, and you got inflections in your voice too. Right. <laughs> uh, no, this is Dad's Dilly Man, and we we have another good episode, very informative episode yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, I think gonna so. Be a, this is gonna be a good. I said, I think we say this every episode, yeah. but yeah, but I think this is gonna be very, yeah. very informative. Yeah, very, uh, very much. So. Very important step of you know your drumming career. For real, we'll get into sure. that though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So how you been, man? Uh, doing pretty good, man. Uh, I've been heads down, uh, doing some programming because uh, you know I'm, I'm I'm building an app. I, I I'm trying. I'm not gonna get too depth too in depth in the app that I'm building yet. Uh, but I am building an app and I'm trying to like roll it out in the fall. Bad. So that's kind of a goal of mine. But uh, other than that, I am. Um, Working on this wedding stuff, um, packing because I'm about to move out of Bankhead. I love the West Side, but I'm about to move out. We're gonna, we gonna have to have to do a party or something. <laughs> so finally, but you finally out the finally out 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 of Bankhead. But for like real, done. for real, for real, man. But um, but yeah, man. Uh, had practice. We had practice last night. We did. Um, we and did. we starting to sound amazing. Although it's the end of the season, right? <laughs> but we sound amazing. We sound great, man. Uh, and yeah, man. I just been chilling, really. Yeah. chilling for real. That's good. What about man. you? I'm been busy. I'm a little sluggish today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. I'm just tired, man. Just doing a lot of work, man. Um, blessed nonetheless. I'm not even going front. Like this is something yeah. that I, you know, I've always dreamed of. Just you know, working music. That's yeah, all I want. Yeah. Whether it's producing, which I am um, producing a couple of other tracks, um, mm-hmm. and then you know, just drumming. Like that's yeah, that's yeah. what I do. You yeah. know. So um, even though I, I have a lot of stuff on my plate, man, I can't complain, man. I really can't. It's just a lot of work when you're doing it by yeah, yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you know yeah. But, definitely um, a lot of task for work. Yeah, <laughs> man. But um, yeah, we uh working on a couple of things. I just launched um, me and my uh, my good friend Joycelyn. She's uh the owner and CEO of uh, Joyride Fitness. Okay, which is a uh, dance workshop fitness class mm-hmm. that was based in Miami, but she moved back to Atlanta. So we're wow. gonna have to kind of okay. team up and do a dancer and drummer HBCU fitness. Oh wow! Okay. experience and it's okay. kind of. Um, joining HBCU movements and dancing yeah. with fitness. Yeah, that's um, bro, that is yeah. dope. Yeah, that is super yeah. dope. <laughs> so yeah, we will be launching that info uh, very soon. But within the next few months, uh, you'll definitely yeah. be seeing more about that. So we just cool. grinding that, uh, getting that yeah. together, and uh, and of course, man, if you want drum lessons from me, you can always hit up exclusivepercussion.com, hit up the lessons tab, and sch- schedule your free consultation so we can get you scheduled for uh, some dope drum lessons and just trying to. You know, work and you know, practice last yeah. night. You know, I felt good. Yeah, yeah. And we in the playoffs. Yeah, we are. The Hawks in the playoffs. We're in the that's playoffs. Just, so that means more crazy. games. Yeah, more games. More, you know, more you money. Know, more money. Play. You know, <laughs> but more time to, for us to play because it was. Yeah, yeah. It was getting kind of rough. Um, yeah, with COVID we and everything. Yeah, we only yeah. did about roughly maybe four games, five so, games. Yeah, four or five games. And so yeah, I'm glad that they they made the the playoffs so we can play some more. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna be interesting. Hopefully them yeah. folks, uh hopefully the little boys push through. I hope at least so, to Le- the third fourth. At least well, like whatever. come on, give us something. Like <laughs> Yeah man. something. You know, Falcons let, see, let law, this made us <laughs> Okay, we're not gonna go that much. We ain't, we ain't gonna do that. But yeah, they got a first round pick, so we'll see what happened in the fall with the Falcons. <laughs> we'll see. Even though he'll tight end, but right. we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. So yeah. what we talking about today, man? Uh, yeah, man. We're gonna uh, talk about auditioning for college marching bands. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is a very, very important step when you wanna uh, when you wanna obtain a college drumming career. Uh, right. If you wanna uh, march on a collegiate level. Uh, you don't always have to have a band scholarship, depending on the school that you go to. Um, well, you, actually, you don't always have to have a band scholarship. You know, but if you want to have a scholarship, you actually have to uh, audition. You have to. And yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's. So we're just going to talk about, you know, um, what that looks like, what the audition process usually looks like, um, and kind of give our personal experiences. Yeah. And um, I've been out the game for a minute, but yeah. uh, you know, I re- I remember my first. It's really my only school that I really auditioned for, believe it or not. Yeah, and, honestly. And it was Bethune Cookman. That yeah. was the only school. And because I was kind of, I think I said it in my first episode, mm-hmm. man, I was burnt out at yeah. Southwest. I didn't yeah. want to do band. 
Wow. I was like, I'm good. I just that's crazy business. I'm yeah. good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's crazy. And so I wasn't really. I, I promise you, I wasn't in the mindset of um, you know auditioning yeah. for colleges. I mean. Mm. Everybody came to Southwest DeKalb. I mean, yeah. the A&Ts, the Norfolk, the Hampton, the right, Mississippi. Right, I remember yeah. Mr. Ore coming to the band room. Are you serious? For recruiting wow. for Mississippi Valley State. I remember. I was like, Mississippi Valley State? I'm <laughs> definitely not going there. Yeah. Not knowing he yeah. was the percussion instructor at Bethune-Cookman. Wow. But that was my mindset. We did so much at Southwest. I mm. was like, I just want to be a regular student. Yeah, yeah I would definitely imagine. Yeah. And yeah. so really my first, after I realized that it cost to go mm. to college, mm -hmm. my mom was like, just try yeah. try this this school out and we went spring break went down to daytona and auditioned for mr wells yeah and he gave me my last percussion scholarship the, the last percussion wow, scholarship. Yeah, yeah and i was like well i guess it was god it was meant to be <laughs> man but yeah i mean that's something that i knew about but i didn't really take advantage yeah. of it yeah. but now it's like yeah the the opportunities now yeah, you might as well just go ahead. might as well just go ahead and yeah. even if you're tired of drumming you never know because that is your way yeah. through school now yeah, so yeah, exactly yeah we're gonna give you some tips some some tidbits and some things that you know just need to know and, and take yeah take heed of yeah definitely um well first i guess i'll start off with um you you should definitely know your rudiments i mean yes that that's a if you want to be a percussionist in general in you want you gotta you gotta know your rudiments yeah. but um you should definitely know your rudiments and you have to play them in a form called open to close, close to open. open. We, should, we should probably should have had our pads yeah, or whatever so you can at least demonstrate right. it. <laughs> but um but yeah, so that basically means slowing uh starting the uh the rudiments slow. I'm gonna get my um, Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh so that means starting the rudiments slow, uh speeding up and decreasing or I'm talking about decreasing, decrescendoing. I mean um, you can say decreasing, yeah, decreasing I mean, in whatever. volume or whatever. <laughs> but decrescendoing um at that same sped up tempo and then gradually slowing back down. Um yeah. To to go back open. Yeah. Um that's kind of that for that open close or open format that uh band directors usually ask for when they ask you to play your rudiments. And one thing that I learned by doing that and I do a demonstration mm -hmm. is that um, you don't want to go super fast to yeah, a point where you don't know how yes, to play it. Yes. Right? You yes. want to get to a point where you're comfortable, but it's not as slow. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so I'm going to play exactly. really quickly of what, I mean, what I see a lot and then what needs to be comfortable. Right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do, um, let's do a double stroke roll. Yeah. Right? Something simple. Yeah. Right, so I did it at a very comfortable tempo. I didn't yeah. go stupid fast and make it sound like I don't know what I'm doing and it sounds real uneven. Right. You want to get to a point where your your fastest point is the point where you're most comfortable playing. Yes. You don't want yes. to overdo it. No matter how how talented you are, no matter how choppy you are, you want to have the cleanest sound that you can have yeah. for this audition. Correct. At at least Correct. just for the audition. For the audition. Play play at a moderately temp, a moderately fast tempo, good enough so so they can sound good, good sound quality, and then right. slow that thing back down. <laughs> yeah, because I I see I see guys and girls try to they think oh if I play it really really fast yeah, the faster nah. I play it oh the most money I'm gonna get. No, nah. it's it's it's, it's not more the case. than that. It's yeah. not the case. You gotta you gotta be clean with what yeah. you do, and that's easy. Just work. Just get to a point where you're easy. Uh, where, where the fastest is the easiest and the most yeah uh, solid sounding. Uh, speed. Yeah, exactly. And um, if you notice when he played the uh, the drum roll open, close, open, he blended the tempo as he got faster. It wasn't like a obvious tempo change. Right. It gradually went from one BPM to the, the fastest BPM. It wasn't just right. you played one one tempo and then just and it goes straight to, to it. the Yeah, yeah. That's that that looks bad when um when um you're auditioning and so make sure you definitely blend uh, blend that tempo together yeah for sure um let me see what else uh scales you should scales for sure you gotta know the scales for sure. uh um you know your your majors are your yeah that's the standard if you can get your minors in there too that'll be perfect yeah that'd be great right but you gotta know all 12, 12 major scales yeah, for sure right that's just something that's the standard yeah um and of course if you don't if you're not really good with it 
you know, reach out. Reach out to yeah. people that may know about it, but it's very good to start off with your 12 major scales. It's good to kind of get into your minor scales, especially if you're going to be a, a music uh, major of right. any type exactly. of way. It's yeah. always good to know your minors. I didn't know my minors when I was coming out of high school, Yeah. Um, but I knew all my majors. Okay, um, yeah. So I knew all my majors. I knew my major. Uh, I think I knew my all my 40. Okay, of my well, of, yeah. of the rudiments yeah um i know what a lot of hybrid rudiments in is, yeah, is yeah, but it, you got to know your your standard 40. yeah standard 40. no your standard yeah, 40. never asked for like hybrid rudiments so. <laughs> yeah they, they let me let me see a blue cheese yeah but they're not gonna do that <laughs> at okay. least not for the band scholarship now when you get to the to, line to audition, line is totally different that's different right i'm asking for everything yeah, everything what's everything a slap five right. y'all know it symbols <laughs> <laughs> i just like i got a story about that too but no but yeah that, but it's very true is you got to know the basics and yeah. then and then if you you know the basics to the good to a good standard then you can get into yeah. your minors you can get into exactly. your hybrids you can get into yeah. your plat platonic scaling yeah yeah yeah, yeah. All that good stuff, yeah. Yeah, I remember. Um, I didn't. I didn't really know my scales when I. Um, uh, I'll probably say the year before I, I auditioned, like my, my junior year. I didn't really know my scales like that, and I went to my band director. So definitely go to your band director. Like right. <laughs> as cliche as that may sound, like yeah. go to your band director if you need help with your scales specifically. I mean, of course, all band directors they're not great percussionists, but they know their scales. Oh, they know the scales. A, a band director will know their scales. They may not know how to do a flam drag or whatever, but they'll know their scales. So definitely sure. go to your band director to really teach you those those hybrid. I mean, those uh, major scales, minor scales, and all that stuff. Correct. Correct. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to James Sater, man. He really put me on the on the on the marimba mm -hmm. and the vibes and really made us kind of get on the scale thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And he trusted in us to say, okay, well, if you're going to do this, if, you, if you're going to be a good percussionist, yeah. you better know your scales. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You yeah. Know? And then later know. on in life, the scales help me with production and mm -hmm. keys and playing mm -hmm. certain chords and stuff like that. Cool. And so it does it does help you in the music world. You're just not going to beat drums all day. Nah, nah it's good to, nah. <laughs> to know the melodics of percussion because yeah. it can take you other uh, other places as well. For sure. Yeah. Um, another thing is... uh. You gotta have a sight reading portion of sight reading, the audition. Yeah, yeah. reading um, music is yeah. is important. Yeah, and, and it's crazy. Like, it's crazy how I, I I never knew how good I was at sight reading literally until that audition where like I'm super pressured to. Yeah. I got Mr. Wells, this man looking like Goku to me. He <laughs> have no eyebrows, so I'm like <laughs> looking like a Super Saiyan man, and I gotta sight read some music. I'm like, oh no! But when I saw the music, I'm like, yo, this. This kind of is. I'm yeah. flowing through this. He gave me about like what three minutes to look over it. Yeah. So I was like, I right, bet it, it. It did. I was throwing off because it wasn't like like six, seven or something. It was yeah, some odd yeah. uh, time signature. But yeah, um, I definitely was able to at least get the rhythm. So I would like suggest get the rhythm first. Don't worry about the time signature. Just get the rhythm. Right. Um, and just try to play through the rhythm as best as you can. Right. And um, I think uh, you you get through the sight reading portion. Yeah, and and like with anything. The more you do it, the more comfortable you're going yeah, to become. Yeah. You know, I know that sounds very cliche. Nah, for real, for real. But it's, it's true because yeah. the more you read, the more you recognize I'm going literature. The yeah. more you read, the more you recognize different words. Yeah, yeah. You see yeah. more words. It's like, oh, I know that word yeah, before. Yeah, exactly. I've seen, I, I've seen that before. Mm -hmm. I know how to pronounce it. It's the same thing when it comes to music and sight reading, right? So if you're getting new, new pieces of music in front of you, if you read more, if you read outstanding literature yeah. if you pull up flamis if you've never read flamis before and read it or you 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 pull up the you know 17 bcu snare yeah. so if you pull up these things or x factor the uh right, right, the, yeah, that we just okay, found out yeah. <laughs> that the original sheet music of x factor is out there like if you just go ahead and start reading more then we get to the auditions sight reading portion shouldn't be that that bad yeah. to you you kind of recognize certain uh accidentals and you can understand mm -hmm. certain mm -hmm. notes and you'll flow a little bit better you're still getting yeah. nervous you're still gonna get hung up because i mean come on everybody it's sight reading, it's sight reading. <laughs> but the more you do it the more comfortable you become yeah for sure what else i'm trying um, to think um it, i think well i'm kind of out the loop a little bit so I, re I really don't I think it's the standard I think the standard stuff is You know Knowing how to You know Rudiments Prepared piece Oh yeah. prepared piece Prepared piece yeah Having prepared piece I think Yeah that's definitely a thing. prepared piece Yes um, It's always good to go back To the method books Yes like, Now method sure. books has Like 
you can get some some really good material out of these mm-hmm. method books. There's a lot of material that's out there. I would suggest to go into the method books. Yeah. Kind of find you a nice A2 yeah, or something exactly. that that exactly. um you know extra banner right for snare A2s and things like. They have some really all really state. good. Get yeah, the all, all states. states. That's what, yeah. that's what I use. The yeah, all state, all A2s, state yeah. A2s, man. Because it's, you know, that's where you don't want to get your favorite solo from yeah, no yeah, fall nah. in 2002 and nah. like it's like let's nah. let's get a little bit deeper with um uh, with your material yeah. um show your drumming intelligence exactly and so yeah have a prepared piece for i would say for all instruments if possible you know yeah. timpani snare melodics um you know just to just give them a range you always want to be overly prepared I yeah exactly you don't yeah, want to yeah. be underprepared yeah. to where they'll say okay well let me see something on 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 the mallets and you're like oh yeah uh, about that <laughs> no you you never know you want to be yeah. completely covered to guarantee a certain amount of money exactly. that you you want the yeah. most money so you can be you know okay going to school right right yeah yeah and even if you don't have a um prepare piece on all instruments at least on the instrument that you're trying to play exactly have something that really displays your your intelligence on that instrument right. um see me i didn't i didn't have prepared pieces on everything i did have a prepared piece on xylophone but i ended up not doing it mm. but i had two prepared pieces for snare though oh yeah i had a marching band prepared piece which was like a Ralph nader solo that i infused with something that i made up then i did the all state e2 because i was in all state yeah. uh, and i did the snare e2 from that year yeah and so i just told will straight up hey i got a marching band prepared piece and a concert band prepared that's piece smart. and i'm trying to play both of them right i like, right, bet go ahead yeah, that's smart <laughs> That's very so, smart. Um, so yeah, uh, if you're gonna have a marching band prepare a piece, have music with it because I right. did have music with it. Don't just show up and and just play a solo and Mr. Wells ain't like, looking at what you playing and he's just like, hey, you just freestyling. Like at least have music uh, to go with the solo that you playing so right. that uh, he can look at it or she can look at it. Um, and yeah, yeah, that's that's good advice. I didn't get any of this advice when I was. Uh, yeah, <laughs> trying out and 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 audition. I didn't get any. I just I kind of went in cold. Like yeah, honestly, yeah. I went in cold because I'm I wasn't feeling it. So yeah. I kind of felt like I was underprepared. However, I did have a prepared piece for snare, mm-hmm. and I had a prepared piece for melodics for for mallets yeah, yeah. because I just took what we played that. Scene. I think it was Rock and po- yeah. Rocky Point Holiday. Okay, we played that <laughs> our senior year, and that's a crazy melodic. Like it's wow, crazy. Wow. So I just took that and that was my prepare piece yeah. for my um for my melodics. And I think I had something for timpani. Okay. But it was like I didn't I didn't necessarily go in there for that. I was yeah. like, if he calls it, I'm ready, but I'm just trying yeah. to just get out of here. Yeah. I wanna I wanna go to the beach. Like <laughs> right. so all this information is really, really good, man. It's it's really you can just tell how was it sure. ten well wow, almost 15, 15 more like about fifteen years, something like that. That's crazy. <laughs> since I, uh, you know, almost audition. fifteen. Yeah. Since wow. I auditioned, so it's the the game has changed yeah. a lot. Yeah. However, sure. there's some basics that's still there, man. Still there, yeah. Got to yeah. know your rudiments. Got to know your melodic, uh, your scales. Yeah. Got to have a prepared piece. Got to sight read. Um, yeah, got to sight read, and it's always good now that social media is happening. Yeah. You can reach out to a lot of these people for real. Now, <laughs> don't bug them. Okay. <laughs> Don't bug a lot of these instructors and a lot of these section yes. leaders. You don't want to bug them, but you want them to know you. Do you want them to, you know, have some material yeah. out there of you playing, like, and see what type of person you are? Yeah. The character. Character is very important. Yeah, exactly. too. I don't think a lot of people know that. Yeah, it but is. But it's out there now. Yeah. Like the opportunities that then it was maybe ten years ago is crazy now. Yeah. I, a lot of the guys that ended up uh, coming to Cookman while I was section leader, um. I had met them on Instagram years ago, like fresh my freshman year, my sophomore year, when they were freshmen in wow. high school. Wow. And then them finally coming to cook me and saying, yo, uh, I, I paid attention to like the advice you gave me about wow. auditioning. That's beautiful. And I'm like, wow, that is that is insane. Yeah, and I show how old I was. But yeah, man, right. definitely, <laughs> definitely listen to this this advice that we give him because um, band writers are throwing money, like especially yeah. especially with throwing cook me. Right. Literally, if you are really good in your instrument, if you come really prepared at your audition, Mr. Wells is gonna throw you money. Yeah, man. Whether you're a percussionist or not. Of course it it depends on what what part or what time of the year it is, because like towards the beginning of his uh auditioning tour, mm-hmm. he kinda gives out more money, but as the the tour, you know, goes toward the end of the, the spring, right. he kinda gives less money. But right. but still, yeah, just be fully prepared and um because 
these folks throwing money. They are throwing money. I, I only auditioned for two schools, Bethune Cookman and Mississippi Valley, surprisingly. Okay. Um, randomly, Mississippi Valley had came up there and was just like, uh, yeah, I'm the band director. I didn't know who he was. I thought he was a custodian or something. <laughs> oh, no. I, I thought he was a Goodness. custodian when I first saw him because he was like a super tall guy, but he had on like like weird clothes, right? And I was like, who is this guy? But then I immediately... <clears throat> <laughs> he thought the... <laughs> The band was the custodian. That is hilarious. I immediately got respect for him when he said he was uh he, he said he was the band at that Mississippi Valley. But I yeah, I definitely thought he was that the custodian. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, he was he was telling us to play some basic stuff like yeah. super ba basic like uh let me see your single stroke roll, let me see your double stroke roll. Yeah. And then he told me to do a paradiddle. He was like, here's fifteen thousand. <laughs> <laughs> How much you got from Cookman? I got twenty thousand from Cookman. Okay, okay. And then fifteen thousand. He was like, uh, he asked me about my GPA. He was like, oh yeah, the, your academic will cover the rest of this for sure. Yeah. But when I tell you, he was just thirsty for folks right, to go to Mississippi right. Valley. Now you said another point that I was gonna go ahead and bring out: academics. Is yeah. Very yeah. important. Yeah. Right. For sure. So yeah, we want to we want you to excel in your audition to get money to help you pay for school. Yeah. Uh, the the next part of that is okay. You good. You can play. What does your GPA look like? Though? Yeah, yeah. What that look like? Or what that look like? And what do your grades look like? Yeah. Because and then what? What are you thinking about majoring in? Because right, you just don't right. go to school just to play drums. You don't. I mean, hopefully wait, we wait, get wait, to let's, a point. Let's say that again. Yeah. You don't go to school to play drums. <laughs> I mean, that's a very big part of your college it experience. Is. However, at the end of the day, you want to you know come out you know just a little bit more. Um, knowledge heavy yeah, yeah. on your on your studies, man. Exactly. You you wanna you wanna come out with a degree. Yeah. Um, and so it's always good to know what those grades are looking yes. like. Yes. You don't wanna go in and be like, oh, I'm the best snare drum player, best quint player, but then your grades don't reflect who you really should be. Right. You wanna make sure all that is taken care of and do what you gotta do now. Yeah. Reach out to your now. counselors, reach now. out to, you know, older people that are in college or yeah. uh you know, just kinda get more into that and definitely work on your grades, man. Because yeah. that's important. That's gonna get you where you really wanna go. For sure. Yeah, I was uh really big on grades. Um my mom wasn't playing that junk. And so I, I knew I was gonna have a academic scholarship, but I just didn't know like how much of the scholarship right. and it was whack because like uh, i had the band scholarship for twenty thousand, but i could only use the remaining however the remaining tuition was and so i couldn't really, really get, a, get the whole yeah. yeah i couldn't really get a refund yeah so i was like <laughs> wow that was so whack bro yeah but um but yeah academics definitely hone in on your academics at all times yeah, yo man. like because college can Especially if you go to an HBCU, college can get wild. Like oh, yeah. parties, I, kickbacks, functions, school hosted parties, functions, all that. Parties. But you gotta, yeah. <laughs> Especially when you're part of the marching band, yo, it's like, oh my well, God, when can I do my homework? Yeah. But you gotta make it happen, yeah, yo. You gotta make it happen. Um, I mean, so like, I mean, I had <laughs> freshman brothers and sisters. Yeah. Who was full? Who was like full? Like marching band, HBCU, had a one point something that first semester. Yeah, you know what I'm man. saying. And so Mr. Wells was like, "Nah, you got to have a two point. I thought two point eight. Nah, about a two point oh. Two point oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I but two point eight. A lot of folks gonna be right. right. <laughs> I can't remember, but yeah, like two point one, two point oh, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, at least two point oh. Yeah. You can't even keep that. Yeah, yeah. It's if you like, can't keep that, gotta, it's like come on, man. That's a C average. Two point right. is like a C average. And so. you just work work on your time management skills. Get that started now. Mm -hmm. Get that started now. So once you get into college, you know how to basically just kind of work that because it's gonna yeah. be it's gonna be tough. Yeah. But you have to work on that. So grades are, are very very important. Sure. Very important. And uh, start now. I mean, seniors. Hopefully y'all are are set. But um, yeah. We'll go into the mindset that yes. School is first, band is second, and I promise you, you'll be good. Yeah. And one thing I want to say, too, uh, if you play a, a, an instrument outside of drums, um, I would say bring that up during your audition. Yeah, that's sure. more money. That's, that's more, money. more money. Yeah. That's for, um, and like, 
maybe percussion is your main instrument in marching band, but if you play another instrument, you could uh, really finesse on that instrument in concert band, symphonic band during Man, the spring. And that'd wish. give you a lot more money. I like, wish I real. could have played like a, a horn. Man. A horn or Especially a, French horn? French horn? Oh, oh yeah, man. That would give you a lot of a lot French of horn, oboe, mm-hmm. um, all these bassoon. just super rare instruments. Yeah, bassoon <laughs> for sure. All these super rare instruments that people yeah, don't really man. be playing like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'll get a lot of money for that. Uh, even at Cookman, we had like a uh, a bass cello player. Ch- ch- yeah, 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 yeah. cello player yeah, yeah. and all that. So uh, we had a harp player. So, yeah, if, if you have other uh, talents, uh, other instrumental talents, yeah, definitely, definitely bring that up yeah. in your audition definitely. so that you can play those because um, you'll, you'll for sure get more money. For sure. Um, yeah, that's that's real. I, I was trying to think of a situation that has happened, but yeah, I, yeah. I wish I knew how to play another instrument. I really wish because yeah. that would have been like, oh yeah, we got 9,000. Yeah. However, we can pull something out. <laughs> and y'all only got 9,000 when I was at Cookman, man. man. That's like nothing. Yeah. Yeah, that's nothing. But how much was tuition then, though? Tuition was eighteen. Wow. Yeah. Wow, bro. It was like eighteen five. That just went up to like. It went to like twenty three now, right? Or what is it? Yeah, like twenty. I think now it's made twenty. It may be twenty four. Maybe twenty four. Yeah, man. And it was going up every year. So man, that's crazy. Um, but the good thing is, I got an increase in scholarship every year. Oh, okay, yeah. That's so cool. yeah. One thing about Bethune Cookman, he definitely increases. Did he, did he increase yours? Or? Nah, he didn't increase mine. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't increase nothing. <laughs> but my mine's well, well. When I was there, mm. uh, if he had more, if he had money in the budget, yeah, you know, yeah. he'd take okay. you know get all the old heads, all the returning mm-hmm. members, have a scholarship interview. Uh, look at your right, grades, right, yeah. looking at all that stuff, and if yeah. you have budget before he goes out, he'll say, "Okay, well, I up you, whatever." And maybe mm-hmm. because I was so low, that yeah, he was yeah, like, "Okay, probably. yeah, I'm yeah. a, I'm a up you." But yeah, I ended up, you know, getting more. Yeah, he uh, definitely do. On. He definitely does that um, for for some students that, especially when they request it. Yeah. But uh, that's another thing, though. These scholarship interviews. I don't know if all schools do that. But I was Cookman, Listen, Mr. Wells definitely does that. Where I'm so grateful for that. You have to basically like have an interview for the scholarship that you have. So right. you'll at the end of the school year, like in April or May, you'll go into Mr. Wells' office. And you'll basically, all right, what's your GPA? <laughs> what's going on? Your, yep. Uh, you you miss these practices? <laughs> oh, he has a year. he has a whole full these list. deductions. <laughs> yes, he know he know exactly your yeah. track record. Like yeah, he knows everything about sure. you. You know what I'm saying, but that, but that for me, that helped me yeah, because yeah. it was like I know I got to be on track yeah, with yeah. everything because I don't want to lose a scholarship. I don't want to exactly. leave Cookman. Like if this yeah. is it for me, yeah. so yeah. yeah, let me tighten up on my my grades. Let me make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do because I know at the end of the year, yeah. Mr. Wells is gonna make sure that I'm doing what I need to Man. do to keep the scholarship. Either it's gonna increase or it's gonna decrease. It's gonna decrease, boy, and it's gonna be tense too, man. He'll be tense, sweating man. and he's sitting in front of you and you hear hear your heartbeat. But what? It got it got a little laid back uh, as as I kind of progressed. Yeah, uh, at Cookman, especially after becoming sexually. Yeah, if you was become like, sexually, you, you like he what looked up, at, was oh, was like, cool. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, but definitely my freshman year, I was in that thing shaking. But yeah, yeah. yeah man. But now it was, it was, it was definitely good accountability though, to yeah. to kind of have that. Yeah, for sure. I'm trying to think of something else to kind of kind of take into consideration, um, because I know we have a lot of seniors that's that's leaving yeah. now. Yeah, they're trying to figure out what to do, or you got some juniors that's looking mm-hmm. into some things mm-hmm. for their senior year. Uh, I'll say don't don't be afraid to like do a virtual audition. Um, yeah. I know a lot of people think, you know, the band director has to come to your school or you have to go to the school. Right. You can do a virtual audition. You can send a, a send a YouTube video doing all of your auditioning things. Right. And send the link over to uh, uh, Mr. Wells or Miss Williams, who is the right. assistant. But um, my freshman brother on snare, he he was only two snares, my or two freshman snares, my freshman year. Me and uh, my other guy named Br- uh, Brian, he did a complete YouTube audition. Oh, <laughs> he did. He sent That's a YouTube dope. video, sent them the link. the The video was unlisted, so nobody could see it. Only the people who had the link. That's dope. And um, Mr. Wells gave him his scholarship based on that. Yeah. So he's like, hey, you can do that. Yeah. Of course, you would have to send out your email, send out some communication beforehand, letting them know, hey, I'm trying to do this, blah blah blah. But it's definitely possible. And, I mean, that's where we're at now. The, yeah. The, yeah, exactly. The whole world is virtual now. Yeah. So, I would suggest that everybody has some type of um, digital yeah, marketing, yeah, yeah. auditioning something of you plan. Because that's not even just in scholarship, you know, recipients or 
whatever that's even in professional realm yeah you yeah know, if exactly, you exactly. need to get a a movie slot or get a job you want to they want to show they want to know who you are yeah, who like you i are, literally like, just had to do that do. i had to do that for um an upcoming commercial okay, that i'll yeah, be doing yeah. i literally had to send in a video of me playing and me, wow, who yeah, i am yeah. and stuff like that so it's always good if you're going into just the job world or yeah. just professionalism no matter where you're going it's always good to have like um a video of what you can do a little yeah, bio definitely. about yourself so yeah. you can just hit sand whenever you know someone asks for it yeah yeah for sure i wish i had these notes when i was <laughs> man i'm telling going. you take notes and and actually the the band scholarship season may have maybe may have passed I think, by now i think we passed it but However, this gives you a lot of time to go ahead and prepare for next spring because right. early spring is when a lot of band directors usually um, do their scholarship tours. They go to different high schools or whatever. So it gives you a lot of time to go ahead and prepare for that. Right. And if you want to take a semester off, I know some people want to take a semester yeah. off. They don't want to go straight into college after high school. Mm -hmm. Cool. Save this. Write it down. So once right. you get yeah. into that following year, you want to get a scholarship, you want to join band. This is how you would do it. Yeah. And it'll be yeah. easy for you. Yeah, and also keep in mind, um, this is only the scholarship audition. Scholarship, but and then don't solidify a line, a spot on the line. Right, you still have to go things. to band camp. Yeah, you still got, you still got to go to band camp to solidify your spot on the mm -hmm. line. Mm -hmm. I be having to tell folks that cook me that all the time. Yeah, like just different. because you got your scholarship, you still got to see me. <laughs> <laughs> still got to see me, and if right. I see that your uh, your skills don't match the scholarship you got, you plan something else right you're not playing the instrument you thought you was but the, the cool thing what i did realize though and i you know this would be the last thing i'll talk about it when it comes to okay yeah one thing about band we do have like we had like your sideline crew yeah 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 because wells had a certain number and there's mm -hmm. certain bands that have a certain number where you have a sound line crew yeah but for the most part you're gonna play yeah yeah for sure because at the end of the day you're gonna play in the stands, in the stands you're yeah. gonna play in the band room in the band room <laughs> you're gonna be playing not saying like you know not to call out sports but yeah. there's a possibility that you can be Sit sitting out. on the bench for a minute yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. or you get cut or something like that mm -hmm. not saying that but i'm gonna say it i mean bang you're gonna play regardless yeah, and that's sure. guaranteed money yeah so you might as well work on the craft that yeah. you have try to get as much money as you can yeah and then enjoy the experience because exactly. you're in it you don't have to get worried about getting cut or yeah. unless you just don't you don't care about you like yeah. oh i just got it and i'm gonna just <laughs> do whatever i want then they're gonna Can't look at you like it, all right now nah, we don't need them no yeah go ahead money. yeah get that money play and you may not get on the field because of the certain number of what they need but strive to get on the field strive right. to do whatever because you already got the scholarship yeah might as well work for so it. work for work once you do the scholarship get your scholarship keep working and yeah. then once you try out for the line and getting on the field you'll be good you'll be good man yeah you'll be good um i think that's about it um i just really wanted to say just break up the, the scholarship and the spot on the line no that's, that's real definitely two different it's things. two different things so as long Don't as i know that twisted because <laughs> <laughs> i was i was um i got moved on symbols mm-hmm I, okay. I was I was supposed to be playing snare. Well, I, I thought I was gonna be playing yeah. snare. You know, I was yeah. I was snare drum player. <laughs> then I walked in, uh, but Florida Cats got Ooh, already had to cook the form, <laughs> and I was I was coming in with that FAMU form. Yeah. You know, oh the, wow, I was I yeah. was in it, and it was like, yeah, what is, what what the instrument <laughs> you play if you don't make the snare line? Yeah, I mean I'm a percussionist, man. I play anything, yeah. you know, tenor drum, bass drum, sim oh cymbals. Yeah, I'm gonna get the cymbals. Wow. And yeah, and I was mad, and so yeah. I just stayed on cymbals. Jeez. I just yeah. stayed on it. I knew I could play. Like I was mm -hmm. playing in the band room. One of the old uh older heads was like, "Why well, you ain't no snare? Cause they don't want me on snare." Man, try out again. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't want to try out. Wow. But what happened was, man, I I I was still practicing. I yeah. was still doing what I was supposed to do. But That's I just good. said, you know what? There's other people that can yeah. play these instruments. I'm a percussionist. I can yeah, play cymbals. Yeah. I can yeah. play whatever I want to be put on. And so I just wrote I wrote cymbals all five yeah, years. Cool. But yeah, man, so you will be moved around. Yeah, yeah, definitely don't don't be expected to, to yeah. really be on your instrument. I no, mean, me, I was move. just like, I play tenor if I need to. Right. Like, for me, if I didn't make snare, I would have 
I would have been fine on Tinder because I absolutely love cooking me Tinder drums. Yeah. I've, in my opinion, they got the best Tinder drums out there. Don't yeah. don't beat me up, yeah. Auntie. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I was like, you know, if I don't make snap, I, I play Tinder. Yeah. Man. But uh, that that wasn't the case though. Yeah. At, at that point, man, you're you're in. You got your scholarship. Now you're trying to be a part of the line. Yeah. You want to be a great asset to the yeah. line. You don't want to be a headache. You don't want to be right. uh, someone that they can't stand. You yeah. want to be a part, and so. Be a percussionist and conform to whatever yeah. the drum, the drum line needs. It's not it's, about you. It's not about it's you, about man. It's about the, the family. Line. It's about the line itself. Yeah. So I tell that to anybody that I talk to when it yeah. comes to drum line, even my students, man. Be a be a percussionist. Yeah, be a percussionist. Don't like, be a solo artist. Don't, don't, be, don't be a snare a, drummer. Right. Don't be a you know be a percussionist. Right, <laughs> for sure. Uh, yeah, I think. I think that was about all the tips I can. Yeah, I can't think of nothing can exhaust else. At and the if moment. we if we miss something, please yeah. let us know. Go ahead and drop in the comments wherever yeah. you want to send us DMs, whatever. Uh, because we, it's not just for us to just say. Now we want to really help. Yeah, you know, for, sure. Uh, for sure. The seniors, the juniors going into seniors, the the first and second year freshmen or whatever. Yeah, yeah. We want to help people out to get that money to be custom uh, accustomed to getting money or ad- auditioning yeah, or whatever. So sure. if you if we miss some things, please let us know. We'd yeah. love to have that whole conversation. Yeah, definitely, man. And just ask us any questions if you if y'all got any, man. For sure. Um, but yeah, I think that's I think that's about it on that, man. Yeah. Um, See, we can move on to you want to do the let's, let's, you want to do the fifth quarter? No, let's let's wait before we go to the fifth quarter. It was something that happened this weekend. Not that this past week. Uh, was it this past battle weekend? Fest. The battle fest. Battle fest. Yeah, that was when was that? I think was it was, that last. Yeah, it was weekend? last weekend. Last yeah. weekend. Last weekend. Last yep. weekend. And I just want to touch, man. Listen, band is back. Band is all the way back. <laughs> band is back. And uh, yeah, they had a battle fest. It was it was Pebble Brook. It was. Um, uh, Creekside and it was Jonesboro. Jonesboro, yep. I feel like I'm missing something. Nobody? That was it? Uh, I think that was it. Yeah. Uh, that was, bro, those three, yep. Though they were playing. They were playing, playing. Um, Creekside, they always have a great band every year. They have amazing sound. I think they had the better sound out of the three yeah. schools. Yeah. Um, Dexter Bailey is the, the band director over there. He went to Cookman, yeah. amazing trumpet player, and he got those kids sounding Sound collegiate. Good. Yeah, man. And and Jonesboro, man, I haven't heard Jonesboro, Jonesboro in a minute, and yeah. they just they just had that. It was that that biting sound, it was yeah. like a little edgy sound. Yeah, I was yeah, like, man, yeah, they're for sure edgy. Surprisingly, like, whew, and shout out to Lanell Goodwin, another Cookman alum really? over there. Yeah, <laughs> Lanell Goodman over there at wow. at, at uh, uh, Jonesboro had them, and they're so the energy. I love it. It reminds yeah. me of old school marching band, like mm. the energy that Creekside and Jonesboro have. Yeah, yeah. It reminds me of the two thousand two, two thousand three, mm. the old ones, and how how well that, school, yeah. that hype was. So man, I just wanted to shout out. That was a great battle. I've I've been seeing clips. I I couldn't go. But I've been seeing clips. Yeah, all sure. week. And I mean, now we can't forget Pepperbrook. Pepperbrook was the biggest band. Yeah. <laughs> them folks, bro, right. them folks had and like 13 tubas. And they were, and like, they were putting right. and they were putting some sound in and that's they putting sound in these horns. Yes, bro. for sure. Yes. They putting sound in these horns. And man. apparently they got a lot of students because uh, apparently they got a lot of students at the school, yeah. first of all. Cause them folks had an enormous <laughs> band, bro. I'm like, okay. Why don't APS schools have like Doug still never mind. No, we're not gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. But yeah, man, yeah, that the better for us was definitely I, I enjoyed those clips uh that I was able to see. So yeah, man, shout out to them, man. Band is officially back. Yeah. yeah. So man, summer is about to be open. I think we have a couple of um mass bands that's gonna be going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Georgia mass band. Um yeah. I would join it, but nah. Nah, no, you cool. good, bro. I'm cool. You good. I don't want to do the little no, swag you style. <laughs> you, I think you, you've you out-aged it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that is true, it. too. That is true. I, I, it definitely be a lot of folks that be like 20 years yeah. removed still be yeah, joining. Yeah, they be trying to do it. Hey, hang it up, big guy. <laughs> hey, it's, it's okay. Let the younger kids do it. Yeah, man. You know, you had your time. You know, you gotta they be let cranking though. I definitely cranking, want to yeah. go to the events because yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Cranking, yeah, yeah, man. But no, nah, I just wanted to, to kind of shout on that march of mar- uh, marching harmony, marching harmony. I think I have the name wrong, but they have a mass band okay. that's coming up too. Marching harmony. That's, that's the, in Georgia. Yeah, that's that's the. Uh, they do the Falcons drum line. Oh, okay, got you. Yeah, got you. But yeah, okay. they they have a mass band that's coming. That's mm. that's out now. Or they, I think every Saturday they kind of meeting up. So it's oh, wow. band is opening in yeah. the city. Like, yeah, sure. let me make sure I'm saying it right because I don't want to get they. <laughs> I don't, don't want to get they. I don't think uh, I've heard of them. 
Yeah, they if if you seen the Falcons drum line, that's mm-hmm. them. Okay. Um cool. Marching to Harmony. Marching to Harmony. Marching they have a mass harmony. band that's coming up. Wow. That's that's meeting every Saturday at Exchange Park yeah. right on the east side. So wow. okay. Yeah. That's man. cool. That's cool. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's about it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I think we can go to the uh, fifth quarter segment. Yep. Um, for this episode, I'm gonna do something from Cookman. Of course, I'm an alumna, alumnus, however yeah. you say it. <laughs> um, and it's I'm gonna play a clip of Cookman playing this song called uh, "Trombone King." Trombone King is the one and only march that Bethune Cookman played. <laughs> <laughs> All the years that I was there, we only played one march. And that was this song called Trombone King. And um, we actually played this song when I was in high school. At, yeah. When I went to Doug, we played this song in the concert band. Yeah. And it, I was just so shocked that we played this junk as a march at Cookman. I already knew all yeah. the snare parts and everything. And this is like one of my favorite songs there. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, Trombone King by Bethune Cookman. Yeah. <laughs> King. Your mold, I love good old Trombone King, King man. man. I I love it. I just love the staccato ness of the because of, it's a march, so we got to be staccato with all of our notes in the song. Right. But just the right, right. I used to love that junk. We used to have the quick head movement. The quick head movement, yeah. Oh my god, playing that junk in the stands, having twelve snares move the head yeah, at the same man. time. That just I used wish to be we, so fun. I wish we just had more, 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 more marches, man. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing. I, exactly. There's a lot of stuff I wish could move. Did but you man. know we're not gonna get on that that train. That, um, but no, nah, um, I know you went you went collegiate, but I mm. I have to pull a clip from the Battle Fest, man. Yeah, yeah. This is something I've been seeing all on my timeline for the <laughs> last week. I got a shout out to Jones, bro, man. Uh, I mean, listen, all all three bands did an awesome job. Yeah. But I don't know. I just like the energy that Jonesboro was giving, yeah. man. This is them playing uh, Hey Ooh. in the middle of the barn. So, yeah, One of my favorites. Out. Yeah, Jonesboro High School. Check this out.
that was Jones, bro, man. Them boys. Yeah, th- those kids are really playing, yeah. man. And he, and he had one screamer, one, one, uh, yeah, one, one of, high school. One of them was in there. Yeah, Wait. one of them was in there. <laughs> and senior, just screaming. But nah, they sounded really good. Yeah, they good, sound man. real good. Um, hey is always one of those good band songs to kind of crank on somebody, exactly. right? Exactly. You want to crank on somebody, play Hey. Play Hey. Uh, half notes, dotted, half yeah, notes. Yeah, all that. Like, take Long it an octave notes. up. <laughs> take everything an octave up. Yeah, like, man. I need it. So, yeah, because Linnell, man, you're doing a great job with the kids over there. Yeah, for sure. The energy Shout is up, man. I can't wait for homecoming. <laughs> I can't wait for just the season to yeah. just open. This yeah, is going to be a really good It's going to be a good, good year. Because I feel sure. like we're tired. Yeah, yeah, we're tired of indoors, tired of virtual, tired yeah. of all this, man. We're yeah. about time to open. Tired of masks. Yeah. I want to breathe again. Yeah. Right. So this this fall this summer fall is about to be stupid. Yeah, I think so. I stupid. think so, man. But yeah, man. Yeah, I think uh, that's it. That's it for us, man. Yeah, that's it. Well, uh, got any band announcements? Got a lot of band announcements. I'm gonna make it real quick. So, uh, of course, if you need drum lessons, go ahead and go to exclusivepercussion.com. Click on the lessons tab. Schedule your free consultation with me, so we can get you go it going with your drum lessons. Also, um, the Soul of Atlanta. Um, mm-hmm. uh, drum line, which is community drum line slash the WGI line here in Atlanta. Yeah. R- registration is open now. We're going to extend the uh, audition date, but the registration is open. The link will be below uh, in the in the description. Um, click the link, fill it out. This uh, this is for high schoolers. Um, I think it's from 17 to I think it goes up to 23 yeah, if I'm not mistaken. So register this is for all high schoolers and college members to join uh soul of atlanta go ahead and do it right now and uh audition should be coming up within the next week or so so you still have time uh also uh june 26 uh will be we be doing something with the dr- the dancing and drumline fitness that's going to be, be really 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 dope so we're going to have more details coming soon um but yeah the hbcu dancer and drumline fitness experience is coming so stay tuned with that and on the fifteenth. This is when. When is this going to air? Uh, this is going to air Saturday. Saturday. So. So today. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Today I'll be playing with the Atlanta United Drumline. Mm. That was my big announcement. So I'm very excited. It's gonna be dope. Uh, so the next episode, I'll bring you some clips. Yeah. We'll do some yeah, things. I'll talk about it because this is gonna be really do- dope. This is gonna be my first soccer game. Okay. Uh, first time in the Mercedes Benz Stadium. The energy there is gonna, gonna be, be insane. Crazy. It's gonna be crazy. And literally, this is just volunteers. These are yeah. drummers who die hard Atlanta United fans. Mm-hmm. And so I'm gonna be in the mix. So I'll let y'all know how yeah, it goes. That's gonna uh, be insane. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on with me. Um, yeah, and that's that's about it, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about you, man? I ain't got nothing, man. <laughs> <laughs> need some sheet music written out. Needing cadences. Needing warm ups. Hit me up. Yeah, and it's it's summertime, so I know band so, yeah. camp's about to start. Band so camp. definitely hit your guy up, man. What's hit up, Jeremy man? up to get some papers uh, going for your section. Yeah. Uh, outside of that, man, I ain't got nothing else. I uh, think that's it, man. Yeah. I think that's it. So yeah, man. Yeah, man. Thank you for uh, tuning in to another episode. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.